may be called evergreens, but not all their needles are evergreen. Joining me at Ryman Gardens is Paula Flynn from ISU. And Paula, what should we do if we see brown needles on our evergreens? Well, conifers, also known as evergreens, include trees like pine trees, spruce, fir, arborvitae. And in the fall, they normally lose their oldest needles, which is a, a natural occurrence. How do we know they're the oldest ones? The oldest needles are the innermost needles and they're located next to the main trunk. So it's the pattern of browning to take note of and also the timing. Okay. If the browning is occurring at this time of year in the fall from the top of the tree to the bottom, it's a natural occurrence. We do have to keep in mind there's other browning that we should worry about. Certain diseases can kill entire branches or maybe just the lower branches. Uh, mite problems will cause the entire tree to maybe look off color. We sometimes see winter injury in the spring of the year. So there are other things that may cause browning that we should diagnose because there are control measures that we need to take. A couple of important exceptions that sometimes throw people, bald cypress trees like the one behind us and larch trees, they lose all of their needles in the fall. So it's a dramatic change that can be quite alarming. And also, depending on the time of year, if we've had a stressful summer or fall, we may see more dramatic symptoms of fall needle drop. Okay, so the key is the brown needles are close to the trunk, that's okay? Right. All right, thanks. And if you'd like more information on fall needle drop, be sure to log on to our websites. For Gardening in the Zone, I'm Liz Gelman.